Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping to another session of Epic 7L today. Got some more Guild War for you guys. This time going up against the Guild Misfits. And of course, before we begin, we have our joke of the day from Icarus again. Never donating to anyone collecting money for a marathon again. They just took the money and ran. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty good. I do actually want to participate in a marathon one day. That would be quite nice. I think it would be quite fun and a nice change of pace. Going outside every once in a while. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this first team. So I've been seeing a lot of these lately. And by a lot of these, I mean Rems in defense teams. So we have C. Lilia's Rem and Senya. People seem to be replacing Shu with Rem, probably because of her guaranteed... Uh, defense break once she hits demon mode, but our goal is to prevent that from happening. So the first thing we have here is our C. Lilius. We'll be using her to grant the team a vigor buff, which we'll use to help increase our damage output and of course helps our uh, Kawazu here ignore effect resistance. So Kawazu's on uh, indestructible gators, and the reason for that is uh, if I can get that extra burn when he uh, pops his S3, then we're basically guaranteed the kill, whereas uh, normally I'm on uh, whatever Teyu's artifact is, I believe, and that's normally for RTA where he gets a CR push, but I don't really want that CR push here because I want Zahawk to go before he does. So Zahawk here, symbol of unity, you know, basic shenanigans, attack buffs the team, and uh, just continues, um, yeah, doing Zahawk things. Right? I should probably Mola his, his S2 sometime, <laughs> but that's quite alright. Uh, moving on to the second team, now this is the fun part of this match. We have a Ruel, a Ravi, and Bellion defense, so this looks like a job for DDR. Now for DDR here, I'm actually going to change his artifact, I don't think I really want him on Potion Vial. We're going to need him to do some form of healing, uh, so I think putting him on... Uh, what is it? Doctor's Bag is probably the best option here. Yeah, so Doctor's Bag will help us with some healing, a little bit of cleansing utility if that comes up. We have Ilanov as our injury unit, and she'll be quite nice, I think, in terms of dealing with the A-Ravi and the Bellion. And of course, last but not least, I have Pirate Captain Flan. So, yeah, she's going to be very good at controlling the units that or higher in HP, right? If you injury down an A-Ravi, she's no longer really a threat. Uh, you can control the Ruel, you can control the Bellion, prevent those counter shenanigans from happening, and eventually bomb the whole team. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this and see how it goes. Really excited for that second team. Hopefully it does not disappoint. Okay, so for this uh, first team here, the opponent C. Lilius goes first, but the great thing about this um, Zahawk Emil Kawazu combo is, look at this, we don't really care uh, what happens in terms of the turn order, because Lilius will never get provoked if you have Kawazu, he'll be taking the provoke, and yeah, we get to take a turn, so we can go for a hit on Rem, I can go for a provoke too, I think I'm gonna push back the Senya just in case she uh, actually goes before my Kawazu, so let's cleanse him up, and let's go for the Rem, now she does have a vigor buff, but we have a vigor buff as well with an attack buff, and I mean this is Zahawk we're talking about, so he is gonna be one-shotting that Rem, and now it's Kawazu's turn, ignoring the effect res here, so it's just a matter of do we get that third burn? And we don't, we only get two, which is quite unfortunate, um, but it is still a lot of damage. We get provoked, but we get to take a turn and with see Lilius and hit with the Kawazu, so that's quite nice. And I think Zahak should be able to kill regardless of crit or not, very nice. So taking down the Senya, no longer provoked, because the unit that's doing the provoking is down. Oh, look at that burn damage! Wow. Not even a detonation, and down she goes. Okay. 
So now let's go for the second round. This one's gonna be quite interesting because, ooh, Bellion actually has immunity. I am going to control this Rua, or not, she's going to full resist me. Alrighty then, this Bellion's on injury, ooh. Um, might need to watch out for that one actually. So let's pop our S3, let's get a crit damage buff for my Ilanov. Hopefully this Bellion doesn't counter. Right, get a little bit of injury down. The Venom is on the a Ravi too. She's gonna go for the DDR, not quite taking him out, which is good news for me. But let's, let us hope that we do survive this, uh, this Bellion's hit. She's only 18 HP, which isn't too bad, but we are taking a lot of damage. So I'm gonna go for the Bellion, because I don't want her to counter me. That would be quite bad. Oh, look at that injury damage. Nice bomb from the Pirate Captain Flan, pushing up the DDR. Unfortunately, everybody was provoked. Oh, DDR, no! He is gonna go down. That is not looking good for me at all, especially because Bellion now gets the... Um, Gets the invincibility here. Ilanov not proccing her extra hit. Um, not the extra hit, but the, you know, S2 in place of the S1, which is unfortunate. We'll try to push back the belly in a little bit. Okay, so we can go ahead and bomb the... Ruel has a cleanse, so I'm going to have to bomb the Ruel here. I'm going to push up the Ilanov. Okay, she's gonna go for Pirate Captain Flan, which is okay. Um, there's a turn left for both the Bellion and the Ravi to go, so let's go ahead and stun. Let's stun the Bellion, I don't want her to counter me. There we go. She somehow resisted the other bomb. I think I'm just gonna let Rip an S2 here for the damage. Right, we're gonna finish off the Bellion. Very nice, look at that. Ravi is stunned. If we can stun her here again. There we go, beautiful. So Ilanov can go for the S3. Unfortunately, DDR is down for the rest of this Guild War. But I think there is potential with synergy uh, between Ilanov and DDR. It just happened that this, <laughs> this time around, uh, I probably could have played a bit safer. Uh, if I didn't bring Pirate Captain Flan and I brought somebody else, it probably would have worked out better. Another healer or another knight to kind of help with the damage mitigation. But yeah, there we go, Ilanov uh, emerging victorious. The injury working quite well against these uh, slower, tankier, bruiser units. So moving on into the middle tower here, going up against... Uh, whatever that guy's name is pronounced as. Uh, it looks like they have some pretty interesting teams, right? So the first one, uh, instead of Shu, or even Rem in this case, we actually have another collab unit. We have Rimuru. So slime collab, everyone's rumoring to be right around the corner. Uh, yeah, he's kind of interesting to fight against here, especially because, um, I... Yeah, he has two Earth units, right, on his defense team, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in two Fire units to counteract that. I know Rimuru's S3 is neutral, but we should be fine. So Lilius is here, and she will be able to help out quite a bit against the uh, Sea Lilius. In fact, I don't really need this as her artifact against Sea Lilius, because she doesn't really decrease the cooldown of anyone on my team. So instead what I'll do is bring in uh, damage mitigation in the form of Aureus. If I can grab an Aureus here. Okay, so that'll help with the uh, tankiness of the team, and Lilius has about 23k HP, so she should be fine there. Uh, we're gonna bring in our Fire Ravi. Now, I haven't used Fire Ravi in quite a while, but that's because she is on a secret little build that I never actually tested out. Um, she's on this Rage set, and <laughs> it is really, really nice in terms of stats. We got her on Sigurd Scythe, and I'm hoping that she can do quite a number on this Senya but we'll just have to wait and see. Solitaria here in the back line, she might actually die to the Senya's um, kind of knockback damage, right? 
but that's okay. We have her on Abyssal Crown. Her only goal here is to control the Rimuru, so I don't get completely blasted uh, turn one. Moving on to the second team, these guys love their tanky bruiser units, so it's another fantastic game for Ilanov, I guess. Uh, we're going to bring in Doris as our light bait so that A. Ravi always attacks her. Uh, she is one of the tankiest light units in the game, especially because her skill tree is basically built to counter dark units. So she'll be tanking the hits uh, just fine. Ilanov's uh, stats right there on the screen for you all in case you missed it the first time around. And Alencia. So yeah, double injury units, right? Alencia has injury in her kit, but I also put her on an injury set. And she has on Ed's artifact, so she gets extra crit chance and she'll quickly build up extra crit damage and speed uh, over the course of the fight. So let's jump into this and see how it goes. Hopefully... Uh, in our favor, and hopefully we don't have to lose any units like we did in the previous one. Okay, so see, Lilia's gonna pop off her S3. Lilia should be provoking her here. Yeah, because she doesn't have immunity, so look at this. We get to provoke her. She is going to dual attack, bring in the Rimuru, and now everybody has immu immunity because of that nostalgic music box, but we're gonna S3 with the Solitaria into the Rimuru. Hopefully we get this stun. Please don't 15% that. Okay, there we go. Got the actual hit there. Uh, I am going to hold off, I think, on the... I might hold off on the cleanse, just in case the uh, the Senya lands something here. Ooh, but nice little damage coming out from Ravi. Keep in mind, she has an attack down right now. I just want to make sure that... Yeah, see, the Senya actually did hit my unit, so... It's a good thing I held off on that. Uh, fortunately, she didn't really land any debuffs there. Okay, so we're gonna rip the S3. Uh, unfortunately, no stun. Oh, look at that, the provoke from the Fire Ravi. Uh, <laughs> our Lily is getting provoked too. It's not looking too great. Uh, let's go for the Rimuru. And hopefully, this extra hit stuns somebody. Nope, attack down on Senya though is quite valuable. Okay, Lilius is going to be able to cleanse, but then, oh my gosh, we get provoked again. Okay, so let's see what we're able to do here. Not much, it seems. Wow, Lilius. Uh-oh, the Rimuru is dual attacking there. Uh, let us go for an S1. Try to get some stuns. He's blinded there, that's good. Ooh, attack down on the Senya again, which is actually going to help my Lilius live, sort of. Oh, nice stun, saving my Lilius. Now, both of the opponent's units are stunned. Ravi doing a good number there. Uh, let us go for an S3 onto this uh, C Lilius. Try to stun her. Now everybody's stunned. And I'm going to be very careful with my Fire Lilius because if I hit Senya, the Reflect Damage might actually just finish me off. But the Fire Ravi is ready to go. We have an S3, so let's let it rip. This should finish off the Seed Lilius and the Rimuru. Oh, nice stuns on everybody. Didn't actually finish off the Seed Lilius, but that is okay. Let's go for the extra hit here on the Senya. Okay, Lilius is looking real low now. Uh-oh, that's not looking too good. Might as well pop her S3. Uh, Lilius is going to be sacrificed here, but it's okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> so she is going to go down. Uh, the Fire Ravi. We have a Soul Burn for extra damage. Let's see what a Rage uh, Fire Ravi can do here with a Soul Burn on a crit. Not too bad. 10k damage against the Senya. Not too shabby. Alright, let's see. Moving on into this match here. Uh, ooh, okay, he's going straight for the stun on Alencia. Quite unfortunate. But what we could do is we can go for the S3 on Ilanov. Uh, the Bellion should not be able to strip anything, because she should be going for an S3, unless she counters here. Which I think I jinxed myself. Oh no, okay, we're good. We're good, guys. So this goes into the Doris, we're fine with the candlestick proc, 
even though we haven't taken a turn yet. Galleon's gonna go for the S3. Okay, and everyone is, uh, everyone's looking just fine right now. Let's go ahead and cleanse. Alencia will cleanse herself of both debuffs by taking the turn. I think this uh, Bellion is on injury, so I'm going to use Ilanov and just attack into her. Ooh, that dual attack, stripping the crit damage buff from my Ilanov, actually disgusting, and applying more injury, by the way. Um, that's not looking too great here, so I'm going to have to keep going into her. Good, we got the... We got the blind, and we got the proc, very good. Okay, so Ilanov at least is uh, going to be using her extra skills. Let's go for the defense break, she resisted. But we're getting a ton of injury damage in on her. A Ravi doesn't have her S3, so he should be okay for another turn. Uh, Bellion was blind, but... Uh, <laughs> you see, she, she didn't really care. Uh, still crit the Ilanov. Did miss on the Alencia, though. Okay, let's keep going in onto this uh, Bellion. She's super, super tanky, which is really annoying. But let's keep on doing this. Ooh, finally got the defense break. Makes me wonder if she actually 15%ed the first one around, because uh, Alencia's Mind's Eye, which gives 50% effectiveness. Okay, so here we go. No second hit, which is nice, thankfully. Uh, let's go for the S2, just to be safe. Let's finish her off. Okay, there we go. Now, with uh, with her gone, I'm feeling a little bit safer, although a Ravi does have her S3, so I think <laughs> I think we're still screwed here. Uh, not looking too great for me. Okay, so I think what I'll do is... There's no way Doris is going to be lapping, so I might as well just go for the a Robbie. Yeah, the r -wall is such a huge damage mitigator, and Doris is going to go down here, which revives the Bellion, and she takes the turn immediately, which is the most annoying thing about a Robbie's revive. We'll be pushing back both of my units. And provoking both of them, stun coming out on the Ilanov, uh-oh. We're in big trouble now. Because uh, the Alencia is actually provoked. Can this finish off the Bellion? It, oh, it doesn't even break the barrier. That's, uh, that's quite tough here. Oh yeah, no, there's, there's absolutely no <laughs> way. Wow. That is disgusting how tanky that team is. If DDR was around, you know, I would have loved to test that DDR Ilanov team into this. But unfortunately, he went down the first round, so then I'll have to wait for another day. And now, of course, it is time for the third and final battle of this Guild War, going up against the bottom tower. Uh, GTA 2025 rounding coming up, right? Very soon in, in about two years. <laughs> Okay, so the top team, we're seeing so many variations of this. We have C. Lilius and Senya, but the third unit this time around is going to be a Ravi. So I thought, why not have a mirror match of Ravi versus Ravi? So I'm bringing in my Fire Ravi here. Now, Fire Ravi isn't that great into the uh, APOC Ravi. However, I decided... Uh, to bring him back at Armin to help out. First of all, though, we have Destina for some sustain and some reviving. Now, Bag Hat Armin here is going to be quite nice, not only because she has an attack imprint for the team, uh, mostly because her crit chance imprint is kind of garbage on her, but uh, yeah, we'll be able to try to stun everybody with her uh, S1, which is an AoE, and she'll be trying to provoke. So we do have the debuffs ready, uh, and see, Lilius will always be attacking into her. Every time she's attacked, there's a chance that my frontline unit will get to counterattack. So this basically puts my Fire Ravi on a Rage counter set. We'll see how that goes. Uh, for the bottom team, we have Para, Rimuru, and uh, Meru. So what I'm going to be doing here is bringing in my DJB for the Barrier Inversion against uh, the Para. And we have Ed here to kind of make uh, take advantage of Para's debuffs on the team. He is on a plus 15 Sigur because I want Ravi to have the plus 31. Uh, Rimuru will be going into our Krau, who's going to be tanking most of the damage. 
And yeah, Ed can Ed can take on the Rimuru Meru, no problem. Plus, Pyro will always be attacking into Ed, so he's a good ice bait. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this, and hopefully the first team uh, we don't lose to, because Apoc Ravi has a tendency to to luck sack. Right? Okay, so let's go ahead and see if she's gonna be dual attacking uh, the most with the Sea Lilius, or if the Senya is gonna be doing that here. Okay, so Senya's popping her S3. Uh, 17 k HP, that is not a lot of HP for a Senya, but let us go ahead and actually, wow, see look at that, I accidentally clicked on the CR bar, thankfully there's a Sea Lilius there. Um, but let me go for an S1 with Armin. Oh, very nice, got provokes on everybody. This Senya hits really, really hard. She's probably lacking the health because she has a bunch of damage. Oh my god, look at that damage there! Um, thankfully we got a stun, so let me go for the S3 on Robbie. We actually got a crit damage buff too, which helps quite a bit, but unfortunately we do have an attack down. Okay, uh, no... Uh, oh my god, this Senya is so scary. Um, there we go. Nice damage from the Fire Ravi! Okay. Look at that! Fire Ravi! With the crit damage buff going ham! Uh, Rage said not even kicking in on that attack there because Senya was not debuffed. But yeah, let's go ahead and pop this uh, heal so that Bad Cat Armin can stay alive. Alright, Ravi, doing good work here. Uh, let me go for an S3 onto the A Ravi. This will prevent me from getting hit by the counterattack on Senya, but I also get a barrier on everybody along with a defense buff for Armin so that she can stay alive. Oh yeah, look at that. Fire Ravi already uh, back at her S... Um, she's ready to rip an S3. Okay, good thing I, I uh, got the defense buff. Look at that, Armin is getting quite low now. So let's rip the S3 from the Fire Ravi. Oh my gosh, look at that damage! Uh, holy sack, Senya, that is uh, quite interesting. Thankfully, she doesn't have her counter buff again. Oh my gosh, I really need to stop clicking on the unit that's on the far left uh, by their name. I always try to click up here by their name, their icon, like this. But it seems like it always registers it with the- Oh, see, look at that! You can click the combat readiness bar and it registers the attack! <laughs> you guys gotta be careful about that. Um, okay, so let's see here. I think I'm going to just heal up the Bad Cat Armin. I'm gonna hit the Ravi. I'm gonna try to heal like that. Good. And let's see if uh, Fire Ravi will once again uh, counter. Nope, not there. So, let me try to stun this Apoc. Didn't work, but we did, uh... Oh, no provokes either! Okay. We're in a little bit of trouble now, I think, because our defense buff is gonna wear off. And Robbie gets to take the turn. Okay, we do get a counter there. Nice stun, very nice stun. Okay, another counter! Oh, nice crit too! Ravi, going ham. Okay, let's go for the healing on the Bad Cat Armin. Destina definitely pulling her weight here. Uh, let's go for the S3 again on the Ravi, so we can get defense buff and barrier. Okay, there we go. And now let's go for the S3. So Ravi, so Apoc Ravi there, she's on Proof of Valor, but she does have a debuff. So Rage Set does kick in, and we are able to do over 10k damage, which is not too bad. Another counter attack, we have a crit damage buff now. Not too bad at all. Okay, so Ravi, the Apoc Ravi on the other team, look, she's actually gonna run out of combat readiness, so she, or not combat readiness, fighting spirit. So, unless she's counter, uh, she actually won't be able to do anything here. Let's push up our fire Ravi, and she'll be able to let rip an S3, and we'll be able to finish off the Ravi here. That's right, let the better Ravi win. And there you have it, Bad Cat Arm and Ravi combo. I actually quite like this. Should try this out in RTA sometime. Okay, so moving on to the second fight, we got this annoying Meru Rimuru combo again. Uh, Ed double double resisting. I see. This must be a negative 300 effectiveness Para. 
Um, quite interesting. Yes, we resisted uh, pretty much everything there. <laughs> Uh, that's quite unfortunate. Well, there's no more debuffs to really come in, so Ed's job is essentially done, besides being a beat stick. So let's push him up, and so he can do his beat stick duties. Let's hit the, uh, Meru, because I want to take her out. Make sure that she doesn't have any opportunity to, uh, to do magic for friends. Rimuru is going to counter here, but that's fine, because he's going to S3 onto the Crow. And Krowl's on revenge set, so hopefully he's able to lap the Meru here after he takes all this damage. Yeah, there we go. Nope, not able to lap, but that's okay. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Right, so we're going to finish off the Meru, because Rimuru has already pop popped his skills. He's no longer a threat. Finish off the Meru, and we're basically good to go. Squishy Rimuru, but that's probably because he packs quite a punch. All of his stats are in damage there. And yeah, I think this should finish him off, and that is that. So, quite a roller coaster of a guild war. Um, and a lot of bruisery defense teams, which is quite interesting. Normally, you see a fast opener on every team, which gets kind of annoying and kind of stale. So, I'm kind of glad that I got to try out some new team comps. But, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.